All right, Andrea. Hi. Welcome back. Hi, sweetie. Good to be back. How's everything with you? Ah, so so. Trying to weather the heat. Yeah, it's very hot. Uh, the heat's a bit much for me, but I'm handling it. How's your, your is your hotel room got air conditioning? No, I don't have air conditioning. I don't even have a fan right now. I have to, I just keep my door open. What's your favorite thing about living on Skid Row? Uh, is there anything that you like about Skid Row? <laughs> Let me ask and you. I can afford the rent. I can afford my rent, and the food is free. For my rent, and the food is free. Those are my favorite things about Skid Row. What about the rent? My favorite things about Skid Row. I can afford my rent, and the food is free. You can afford your rent, and the food is free. Um, yeah. Do you have Do you have anything that you don't like about Skid Row? Uh I mean, when you're walking down, when you're walking the street, walking down the street, my you know, some of my you know, bestless, and somebody's trying, and somebody tries to sell you dope, and, and you try to join them, and they're in your breath. It's carry, 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 carry. You know that kind. Of, that's that's one of the, that's a behavior I dislike about Skid Row. Yeah. So, you, have you tried the other? Dr- yeah, I know you smoke spice. Do you, have you tried any other drugs? Crack or crystal meth or heroin? Uh, I have a past with crack. You have a past with crack? Yeah. I like got sent in Jesus Christ to get off of crack. 11 years ago. I had sent in Jesus Christ to get off of crack because I was an evil scandalous bitch on that shit. I have a scandalous queen, uh, I'm a queen selfish prying in person. Oh, I was on fucking, I was trying on fucking crack. I was green and selfish like nobody, but I was evil. What does spice help you do? It has to make me do anything, it helps me relax. It helps me relax. Relaxing's good. Yeah. Are, are you happy, Andrea? Do you think you're happy with your life here? No, I'm not happy, that's why I need drugs. That's why you need what? I said, I'm not happy, that's why I need drugs. Oh, I see. The drugs, the drugs make you, uh, makes it, makes it all easier. Oh, uh, that's one of the things I need drugs for, to be happy. Is it your childhood that you're trying to hide the most? Trying to forget about the most? No, I'm not trying to forget about my childhood. I'm trying to deal with uh, I'm trying to deal with my present life. Your place in life? I'm trying to deal with my present life. It's not about my past. Yes, your present life. What would make you happiest today? Huh? What would make it make you happiest? To, what would solve your problems today? Uh. I had the devil dropped in and Sabrina Griner came back in my life. That would make me happy. Say it again. And the devil dropped in and Sabrina Griner walked back into my life, I would be happy. Something about drop dead. As, sa- as Satan the devil dropped dead. Got it. And my friend Sabrina Griner came back in my life. Oh, I see. That would make me happy. Understood. Having a good friend would really help a lot, right? Yeah. Now, how does Satan come into your life? You say Satan. Satan persecutes my best friend. I'm sorry? Satan persecutes me. Satan persecutes you? Yes. What does he, what does he make you do? He make me do anything. He persecutes me, causes me to lose sleep and appetite to eat and stuff. Do you think you're on a self-destructive path and Satan is kind of... No, I'm not on a self-destructive path. No? How does Satan come into your life? What what does he do? It persecutes me for being so precious. That's okay, I can handle it. Devil persecutes me for being so precious. That's all right, I can deal with. Being a Christian? Yeah. 
Okay. What are you going to do later on today? I'm going to give you $40 for this. What are you going to do with it? Uh, uh -huh, probably I'm going to get something to eat after my TV, after I go get my TV mask. Uh, have any more questions? You going to buy some spice? Probably. Should I feel guilty that I'm giving you money for drugs? No, you shouldn't. Why not? You're yeah, helping me, not harming me. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm helping you from doing something more dangerous than for that money for your drugs, right? No, you're not. I'm fine. No, but if I didn't give you money, you would still get your drugs somehow. I'm sure I'll find another way. That's what I'm saying. So it depends on how deeply I want to look at it. The guilt, right. the guilt goes away once you really analyze it. Oh, but uh, I'm paying no mind to it. Do you have happy days still? Do you, do you wake up one day and go, man, today's a good day? Not too often. You're just kind of surviving now? Yeah. You get depressed? Not really, just not happy either. Do you see doctors for like health issues or mental health issues or anything like that? I go Wesley Esther every day for to be treated for TB meds. That's the only doubt there I'm having. TB, tuberculosis? Yes. You have tuberculosis? Yes, so it's an inactive, that's why I'm out of the hospital. But it's not contagious, but I have TB. We're about done? Yeah, we're about done. Tell me, last time I asked you if there was anything, anything interesting about your life, and you probably gave me the most interesting answer I could ever imagine. Is there anything else about Andrea that I don't know? Uh, it's pretty hard to top the last one. I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, you, you, you kind of hit a grand slam last time, so. But. To ask you to hit another grand slam would be a lot. <laughs> right. I won't do that to you. But uh, back, back, back to that, the hermaphrodite confession that, or oh, yeah. secret that you revealed. Oh, yeah. How, how, does, how does that play out? How does it affect your life? Does it affect your life? Not really. You just have some additional equipment. Right. Yes. And it, it, it's more enjoyable for you, is it? Uh, if I have a lesser girlfriend, it's enjoyable. You what? If I have a lesser girlfriend, it's enjoyable. You have a lesbian girlfriend? Other than that, I, other than that, I don't use it except for pee. Got it. So you, you pee out of your male equipment? Yeah, I pee. I'm a male car, I can't whip it out. I can't hold it in my hands like you. I have to stand like this. Uh, uh, I have to pee outside. Step like this by the side line. Yeah, I see you. I, I see you peeing outside sometimes. <laughs> that, that's, oh, why yeah. that, that's why I have a hard time imagining you as a nurse when I see you pee in the street in public. <laughs> oh boy. What's your favorite thing to eat? I give you money. You're gonna use it for food. What kind of food are you gonna get? Wow, oh, I love the food at Corn Cafe. You know Corn Cafe over there at 7th and Maple? Yeah. I like their food. What are you gonna get? I have the Philly cheesesteak with onion and rice. Oh, that sounds good. Excellent. All right, Andrew, thank you for coming by and talking with me again. Thank you. Enjoy your uh, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, well, thank you.